What's up, everybody? No, because back here for another movie review. <clears throat> Starting to lose my voice. Sorry. I have two more movie reviews coming up. I also have a few more later today, but I have two more going up right now. Uh, I have Our Idiot Brother. And then I just got done watching Pain and Gain. I also have another review of a movie I watched in school that I forgot to film a review for, and I own it, so why not? Pain and Gain stars Mark Wahlberg and Dwayne Johnson, <clears throat> along with Anthony Mackie and Ed Harris and a woman who looks like Scarlett Johansson. It's directed by Michael Bay, and it's about these bodybuilders who uh, decide to kidnap this guy, and um, they want money. This is based on true events, from what I'm told, and what I've heard, this is based on true events, and it must have, because they showed the actual guys that did it, and what they did, um, Dwayne Johnson's character only got 15 years, and then the other two got uh, sentenced to death. Her character... Uh, her character's name was changed as was his character. But I really enjoyed this movie. I loved it a lot. Uh, it's by means not one of my favorite movies or anything, but... I can see myself watching this a lot. Um, Mark Wahlberg was absolutely fantastic, as was The Rock. Uh, the Rock played a n n newly saved, uh, a newly saved Christian bodybuilder, and Mark Wahlberg played a bodybuilder, and they team up with Anthony Mackie and they want to just get money this was really funny at some points all the jokes didn't really hit but that's to be expected this is more like of a comedic crime drama <clears throat> um, Michael Bay this has to be his best movie to me now I have not seen Movies like, oh, The Rock, or something like that. I haven't seen The Rock. I've seen the Transformers movies, and I've seen this one, and I've seen one more I can't remember the name of, but that might as well just tell you what I thought of it. Uh, people keep on telling me to show the ratings. So this is rated R for bloody violence, crude sexual content, nudity, and language throughout, and drug use. Two hours and nine minutes. There you go. Pain and Gain. I'm going to give Pain and Gain an A. I really enjoyed it. My next movie review is not for Anchorman. Anchorman will be after this next review. Which will be in the next video. Uh, it stars Rob Schneider, David Spade, and John Heater in The Benchwarmers. So, I will see you guys in that review. So, if you guys liked the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I am so sorry about you. Click on the stupid thing. But if you did, please like this video. Leave a little comment down below. Subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next time.